Welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to implement Spring Boot's dynamic filter using mapping Jackson value and JSON filter. So if you see, we are going to use mapping Jackson value to implement the dynamic filtering. So we will use the annotation named JSON filter applied at the model class with the filter name which we are going to create in our controller or service layers. So entire filter logic we are going to implement in our service or controller layers okay wherever is applicable based on our frameworks so primarily our use case one what we are going to do is we will first implement it with a basic hash set which means like we will create a filter with set of values okay using a basic hash set and then once that is completed and then tested then we will move on to creating a service okay wherein from the service we will send set of parameters and then only those parameter data will be retrieved using that respective REST service. So, which is going to be a completely dynamic, which means we are going to send set of parameters from the postman for that respective REST service and then we'll retrieve uh, and the service will respond with only the data for those respective fields. So, that's what we are going to test. So, that the, these two things we are going to test using mapping Jackson value. So let's go back to our VS code and then see the detailed steps which we are going to perform. So as a first step we are going to create a 0902 Spring Boot filtering with mapping Jackson value. So we are going to create a new branch and once we create the new branch we will go to our controller layer and copy our existing user controller and create a user mapping Jackson controller. So that uh, whatever we implement we it can be isolated and then seen in the code whenever we want even though we are having the separate branches I am also trying to ensure that each implementation will be easily accessible in the code when during the learning process okay so that's the reason i'm creating a new controller user mapping jackson controller okay and then i'm going to copy get user by id method from the user controller and then we are going to implement the jackson mapping jackson value related filters in the get user by id method so we'll see how we are going to do it first we'll implement the base logic with static asset and then later we will also convert that entire service into dynamic uh, uh, REST service with uh, allowing the re uh, request params from the REST service uh, and then retrieve the data for those respective parameters or fields and then send it back. Finally, we will commit the code via IDE and then push the thing to the remote repo. So, in previous 4 to 5 sections what we have done is we have done from Git perspective we have done everything via command line. So, now we are doing via IDE. So, for next few sections again we will fo uh, follow the IDE so that uh, we will be used to the git process from IDE also. So let's go back to our IDE now. So let me copy the 0901. Okay. So here it is right 0901 in the local and then create a branch and then copy 0902 Spring Boot filtering mapping Jackson value and then click on finish and then continue. Right. So now this has created a new branch for us. Okay. So let's go back to our Java perspective and now our first step is to focus on creating the user Jackson uh, mapping Jackson controller right. So we will go to user controller at the same time we will first create a controller for user mapping Jackson controller. So create new in the controllers class I will say user mapping Jackson controller. Usually filters will be created in the filters package with uh, different things and then those will be called in our controllers or the service layers. But here we are trying to demonstrate uh, mapping Jackson filter primarily. So we will focus on creating a new controller and uh, in the controller itself directly in the service method itself we will implement it. Okay. So let me click on finish and then so the first things are we need to make it as a rest controller right so and the second one is we need to also add request mapping and for the services which we are going to implement here so we are going to say that as value is equal to slash jackson filter slash users okay so that this is good and we are also doing for our uh, 
get user by id method we are doing the path validation so let's put it this way okay command shift o to import all three uh, packages so now we'll go back to our user controller and then copy our get user by id method right so this is our get user by id method let me copy here and then paste it here so one thing we need to do is we also need to auto wire our service here so let me copy our service auto wire thing and then paste it here so let me make this bigger so now you can see that user mapping jackson controller we have created this class with rest controller and then uh, uh, annotated it with request mapping and the value is the context is going to be jackson filter slash users right and then slash id will give us the respective id and then its content so and uh, we have auto the user service and we have also copied the get user by id method here right so let me save this right first we'll test this before doing any other implementation so let's go back to our postman right so this is the existing get user by id so i'll say duplicate and here i will say get user by id for what mapping jackson right so i will say mapping jackson and i need to give jackson filter as the uri context so if you see here 8080 slash jackson filter right and then user slash 101 let me save it and then send it okay so i got the 101 user i'll test for one more user 102 so i got the user details user id username email role orders and then these some data so whatever we have done the changes in 0901 for static filtering those were still in action so let's also disable them okay so let's go back to our user entity and then disable those things so i'm going to say json ignore properties i'm going to comment it out and then i'll say this is part of static filtering json ignore okay so i'm just saying that so that uh, it will be a reference anytime okay so in the same way we'll also comment the same at our ssn area right ssn field so i'll also comment this one and then i'll also paste the same thing here so now we have also removed the changes what we have done in static filtering in 0901 right so now let's go back and then test it one more time now we have got our first name last name and then ssn everything back and also for this respective user it also displaying the respective orders okay so this looks good so base setup is good which means we are good to go ahead and then implement our user mapping jackson okay related filter so let's go back so let's go to the try catch block and now so we'll remove this return and then we will try to retrieve the data we'll try to retrieve the user from here okay so i'll say user user is equal to user service okay so it is says change type of user to optional so it's optional so i'll also name the variable as user optional right so now i have the user optional so i'll say user user is equal to user optional dot get so that i'll get the exact user object in our user variable right so let me say get so i got the user now so we have the user with us so now the next thing is to create the mapping jackson value right so what i'll say is so let me move up a little bit right yeah now this will be good okay mapping jackson value so i can call this as mapper right is equal to so i'll say import this and then 
new mapping jackson value and i will pass the user here okay so we can say here add argument to match mapping jackson value and we need to pass the argument as object which is nothing but our user object i have passed it the user object so we have defined the mapping jackson value mapper is equal to new mapping jackson value and we passed our user object here right so from this user object what fields we need to filter out and then what fields we need to pass those things we need to define now so i will say mapper dot set filters right so it created a filters uh, variable here so if you see here um, it is we can even say create local variable right so it's a filter provider filters so i can say the variable also as filter provider okay so and then let me copy it here paste it here for a while and then let's go to the filter provider and then click on command button and then it will highlight for declaration and then implementation so i'll open the implementation so in implementation you can see here we can find the simple filter provider class which is the implementation for filter provider so i'll copy this filter provider class which is an implementation for filter provider and then i will say new simple filter provider right and then i will import that right command shift o to import and then i'll enter and then from here we can write it so i'll say dot add so from add i am saying that we have beam property filter property filter and then simple beam property filter so we are going to use simple beam property filter here so i'll use the simple beam property filter so here i'm going to pass my user filter name so i'm going to use the filter name as user filter same name we need to use in our uh, entity okay for the for annotating it with json filter so we'll do that later but for now we'll come back to our user mapping jackson controller so we have defined the filter so now the next is to also define a simple beam property filter right so which we have discussed earlier which we have seen okay so we are, we need to implement that so i can say create local variable and then copy this right so and then remove this we don't need it here we'll directly define it here so i'll say simple beam property filter command shift o uh, and then i'll say filter out all except right so filter out all except these properties right nothing but we can call them as fields in our entity right so i'll say that those are fields in our entity so filter out all except these fields whatever we are mentioning here right so these fields are nothing but a set right set of fields so i'll create a local variable and you can see that set string and then those set of fields right so what we'll do is in this method we will try to implement it with a static hash set okay so what i'll do here is i'll send it as new hash set string right command shift o to import that's good so now what we can do is we can say fields dot add so what all fields we want to filter out and then uh, so whatever the filter uh, filter attributes we are going to add it here will be displayed for us on the json so which means those fields will be allowed other than that rest all will be excluded filter out except these things right so whatever i'm going to add will be displayed in the json so what i'll do is like so i'll say i need user id right so that i need it okay so one is user id so next one is fields dot i have add fields dot add i'll also say i need user name so i got the user name so i'll also say fields dot add and then i need ssn so now i am saying that i need only three attributes right so these fields will be passed here which means only these three fields be allowed and then rest all will be filtered out so that's what is the thing which we have done so far so i'll say save 
okay so till here it is saved now we need to also define our return type right so i'll say i need to return the mapper now so when i'm returning the mapper mostly it will throw the method return type to mapping jackson value so i have changed the method return type also to mapping jackson value so there should not be any issue if you say you no know, yeah so this should be good right so i'll also say uh, control a command shift command a and then command shift f to format the code and then one more time save it okay so now we have our jackson filter user slash id if we access then we only need to get user id username and then ssn so let's go back to our first postman so earlier we have accessed our 102 get user id by mapping jackson right so let me send it one more time now okay see we are still getting the complete data why so this is the important thing right so we are getting the complete data when we access it that's because we still didn't apply this user filter on the entity level so that's the reason it is throwing this okay so what we need to do now is we need to apply this filter name user filter on the entity level so to do so we need to go to our user dot java means like which is our in, uh, entity and then i'll say json filter and then command shift o to import right so there is some issue okay let me also add the attributes here okay so value is equal to user filter right so now we have added our user filter to our entity let me save it once okay so we have also completed the last step let me test it again now get user by id mapping jackson rest service 102 okay now you see we are getting user id username and then ssn only three were defined and then we are getting only three now so if i want to add more i can say fields dot add and then i will say Um, i can add orders okay so for every user we have the orders right so let me save it okay so see now i got the orders also right so nested mapping is not our nested filtering we didn't do here okay but uh, on a straight way we have got orders means like this is one field it considers from user entity perspective so this is the thing if we want to even implement nested filtering we can do that by adding one more filter on the orders and then accordingly we can plan and then what we want and then how we want we can do it so we can say that add here in addition to one filter you can also say you see you can see add filter right so in the same way we have added one filter here in the same way we can add dot add another filter also so like that we can also add another filter and then implement uh, one way and then in jackson we have also detailed uh, nested filter related stuff which we can implement it which are more advanced but for now this is the base filtering using the jackson mapping jackson value so as we have completed till here okay so in the next lecture we are going to focus on converting this complete service into a dynamic one which means so now whatever we are defining in the static hash set you are getting here right so instead of that i should be able to send here right so what is that is like i need to send here uh, in the param section i need to send field values here and then you should get the data so we will do that in our next lecture so i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you